Alrighty, what's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022-2023 edition, I don't know, we'll probably make it there. Anywho, in our last episode, yeah, you know, we, 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 we did a little bit of side questing in the last few episodes, got a few things, got our Pokemon a little stronger, and now we're here, we're, we're back in Akritik City, and uh, normally we'd be going to Olivine all the way to, uh, what was it? Olivine to Mahogany? No, no, no. Olivine to some other town that I completely forgot about. <laughs> yeah, that's just me. No, instead we're going to be rebels and we're going to be doing the opposite way. We're going to be going to Mahogany Town because apparently there's something going on over there that we kind of need to check out. We kind of want to win a badge here and there. You know, get stronger. All that stuff. And yes, we still have Paris in our team. I just realized that. And well, now that we defeated Morty, we can actually surf everywhere we want to. Look at that. Yes. Oh, yes. Too bad we don't really have a, uh, a, a true Lapras. Well, we do. It's in the PC and all that stuff. And, uh, well, along the way, we're going to be grabbing ourselves a few fruit-bearing trees. But my packet, or my backpack is a little too full. What the heck did I fill it up with? <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Okay, so never mind. We're just going to be moving on ahead. And seeing what's up, here's the second part of Mount Mordor, which, which we can't really go through a lot right now because, well, we kind of do need something else in our disposal to actually get past this whole area, and that is the HM07, I believe. 06. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't even know. And would you look at that? We are going to be facing some trainers right here, and, well, it's probably a good idea to have Fluff Vault first. So, here we go. Let me demonstrate the power of my Pokemon I caught. No. Oh. Okay, all right. Okay, so here we have Fisherman Tolly. And Fisherman Tolly has a Quillfish, a Pokemon we have yet to see. And probably not the most popular Pokemon, but still, you know, it's still a good Pokemon. And look at this, Fluff Bolt, Thunder Punch. Thank, thank Arceus right here that we do not have a Pokemon effects until, like, the next generation. Yes, that would have poisoned us pretty quick. That's had some nice experience points, and that is how you do it. Look at that. What? That's not right. Yeah, it's definitely not right. Talk to him, and he's like, I want to become the trainer champ using the Pokemon I caught. That's the best part of fishing. Hey, you're trying to be the ultimate trainer too? Then we're comrades. If I find any more items by the water, I'll give you some. Just give me your phone number. And yes, this is actually a person that you should probably get his phone number because, well, there's some interesting stuff that he might find. Maybe legend or not legendary stones, but uh, evolutionary stones and all that stuff. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go to Lucky right here. It's been a while, Lucky. I haven't seen you in like a week. <laughs> Alrighty, so bring it on. Hey, this is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. Yeah, it's not much of a secret place. Yeah, not much of a secret place. Okay, so Emo Screamo right here, Pokemaniac Shane wants to battle us, and he is coming out with a neat arena. Hmm. Neat arena is pretty good. And as you guys can see, going to, well, yeah, going to uh, Mahogany Town right now after defeating Morty, it's not an entirely bad thing because the Pokemon or trainers here will have Pokemon not so, not as strong, but still it would be like if you're going into the fourth gym. And, uh, well... Let's go with a Surf Attack, seriously. What, a, what am I doing? I, I probably should teach Lucky some uh, Ground-type attacks while I'm at it. I don't know. But there you go. Neat Arena has been defeated. Critical hit. Yes, Lucky gr uh, growing some more points. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Neat Arena. And, well, let's see. What Pokemon uh, should I use? Hera? No. Serpentera? You know what? Let's use Serpentera. It is a Ground-type Pokemon anyways. And look at that. By the way, off screen, I did capture Nidorino and Nidoran. So we might be seeing those guys at some point. So Serpentera, ooh. Yeah, we're going to get kicked a few times. But thankfully, our defense is a little. Well, it's right up there. So we're going to be digging our way. Go ahead, try and double kick us right now. And here comes the dig attack. And just like that, Nidorino has been defeated. He doesn't feel so good. And yes, Serpentera, you are a monster. You really are a monster. And yes, he, ha he doesn't have a, mo a Moonstone. He's like, you're working on the Pokedex. Wow, you must know some pretty rare Pokemon. May I please have it? No. Okay, we're not going to have 
you, you could always go to, like, Professor Rogue, but... Yeah. I don't even know. I don't even know if you're worthy enough for Professor Oak. Anywho, we're taking on Benjamin. And Benjamin, he's coming in with a Diglett. And Diglett, uh, yeah, as fast as always. Okay. So let's go with the Surf Attack. And, well, the magnitude in... Wow! The most powerful magnitude right there hits us. And it's not super effective. Holy crud. Okay, so I probably, uh... I, I'm probably lucky right now. And, well, here comes a Surf Attack. And Diglett has been defeated. Yes, lucky. There we go. And, oh, you nearly grew to level 25 right there. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Doug Trio. So, we should probably get on that level 25 thing right there. And, well, here we go. Magnitude, magnitude 7. Oh, man. Now, at first, when I, when I was playing this game, I was kind of wondering what magnitude was. And then, eventually, figuring it out because it's so similar to Earthquake that it's like, oh, well, you know, it's the level of Earthquake. So it's kind of like, okay, so it's an Earthquake that is leveled randomly. Makes sense. Not so overpowered or anything like that. I'm just saying, okay. Here we go, Chico. And Chico, you're about to take on uh, Geodude right here. And yes, I will be bringing my other Pokemon with me at some point. Not right now. And here comes a Razor Leaf attack. And this Razor Leaf finishes off Geodude. Okay, alrighty. So we're pretty good right there. And Chico's looking pretty good. And Benjamin has been defeated. And he's just laughing. Laughing. Now you can find some pretty rare Pokemon right here. And well, holy crud. Arnie Bugcatcher is calling me. And he's like, what are you up to, Draven? Hey, let's battle our Pokemon. I won't lose to you battling Ori in the bug catching contest. I'll be here at round 35. Let's talk again, huh? Yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm... In the middle of an adventure, kind of don't need to... <laughs> yeah, I kind of don't need to do anything. So, here we are, guys, in Mahogany Town. Welcome to the home of the ninja. So, maybe, just maybe, you'll find Koga here. Are you off to see Gyarados Rampage at the Lake? Hmm, Gyarados Rampage at the Lake. Now, here's something pretty funny. Now, this, this town is very, very small. Like, super small. There is a gym right here. But you can't go in there because, well, this guy's blocking the way for some odd reason. He's like, since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head uh, north and check out the Lake of Rage right now. We probably should, but I kind of don't want to. And, well, here's another thing, too. If you try to go towards the next route right here, this guy is just going to be blocking you. He's like, hi, kid. I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy Rage, uh, Rage candy bar. Right now, it's yours for 300, sure. Let's go ahead and grab that, but I don't have no room. And, well, let's see. I talked to this guy. I heard that the red Gyarados appeared at the lake. That's odd, since even ordinary Gyarados are rare in the lake. Huh. So again, things things are kind of happening. My favorite programming uh, radio, I'd say Pokemon Music. Hmm. Speaking of radio, something's afoot. Because this place right here... You know that there's something wrong going on here when you hear Team Rocket's music. Now, talk to this guy. He's like, hey, the experiment worked like a charm. Magikarp are just worthless, but Gyarados are much, uh, are big money makers. Hmm. Okay. Welcome. How may I help you? And, well, this guy right here is actually selling you Slowpoke Tail, which is pretty rare. And it's more than what I have right now, but, yeah, not going to do that right here. Now... There is a little something that you guys should check out right here. There is something afoot. Go straight to your Poke Gear, and you go into the radio. Go into any channel that's actually working. You're gonna find, you know, you're gonna find the radios and all that stuff. But you keep on going further from Pokemon Music to Lucky Channel, and the further you get, you're gonna find this right here. Hold on, just a sec. There you go. So something, something's going on right here. Something pretty crazy, and well, it's kind of bugging me. So we're gonna go into the Pokemon Center just to to stay away from that kind of song or music or anything like that. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be going straight up to the Lake of Rage, and we're gonna be figuring this whole thing out right here. Uh, actually, first, you know what? This is a. This is a, a, a little bit of an important mission. So I'm going to 
you know, I'm gonna get off screen, change my Pokemon, because we got we do have Paris on the team, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back after doing a little laundry, picking up some stuff and all that crud. We didn't make much of a switch, we just uh, took out Serpentera and brought in Togepi because I believe this is the place where it's going to go. Paris, we're going to be needing it for something else. And uh, yeah, this is going to be this is going to be an adventure right here, guys, because well, there's going to be quite a few things going on. Now, talk to this guy. He's like, "Only people headed to the Lake of Rage have been through here have been Wait, what? Only people headed up to Lake of Rage have been through here lately." Oh. Okay, so I I thought I misread that. Now, you got two options right here. You can go through where Pokemon trainers are or Pokemon are at, or you can go right here, the shortcut, where you don't even have to hit Pokemon. Huh. Decisions, decisions. Well, we kind of need to evolve Chico. So, let's go right ahead and battle everybody. I can do so much with my Pokemon. It's super fun. Alrighty. Let's go. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Oh, Camper Spencer. What's up? How's it going? He's coming out with his Saiyan true. Y'all remember AJ from Pokemon, the Indigo series? He was not undefeated. Okay, so here we go. Razor Leaf for the win. Time to eat those leaves. There we go. And bam, Saiyan true has been defeated. Like I said, guys, um, either or. If you go to Mahogany, or if you go to Mahogany, or if you go uh, to uh, Olivine, it doesn't really matter. The scale, well, the level scaling right here, it's pretty much the same. Just uh, you know, you'll get, you'll probably, you'll practically get some of the like some experience here and there. You know, evolve some Pokemon. This serves good for some training and all that stuff. Here we go, Thunder Punch, and a Thunder Punch finishes off Zubat. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty, and well, there's more experience points for all of us right there, and well, here comes Sand Slash. I wonder if AJ's ever uh, evolved his Sand True, you know? Sand True! Alrighty, so let's go, Sand True, and oh, Sand Slash at level 17. We don't know how that happened, but we know what's gonna happen here. Here comes a Razor Leaf attack, and well, Sand Slash has been defeated. Don't know how you got a level 17 slash slash, but, you know, who am I to question? Alright, so Spencer has been defeated. And yes, losing ain't fun. Anywho, now if you try to come in towards this area right here, you will automatically get ganged up by some Team Rocket members. They will automatically take money out of your, 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 your person. Um, yeah, and I don't know how much. I could say maybe 300, 500. Yeah, you don't want that. Now, let's see. How many repels do I have here? How many repels does it take? There we go. Repels. Yeah, don't want to be messed around with some of these Pokemon right here. And, yeah, this is actually a very good place to actually, you know, find some secret areas and all that crud like this. Make sure to have a Pokemon with cut. Bam, you open this and look at that. Okay, so it's opened. And here we have a Bitterberry. Yes, I did make space in my, uh... I did make space in my backpack for all these all these new things that we're going to be finding right here. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to her. Are you going to Lake of Reach 2? Let's play for a while. Okay, so you got you, you, you call this plane? All right. Here we go. Taking on Picnicker Tiffany. And she is coming in with a Clefairy. Last time we saw a Clefairy was, like, what, the gym? Probably. All right. Um, Razor Leaf Attack. And that misses. Okay, so <laughs> okay, we can we can we can do Razor Leaf. Don't know why Encore was there. Maybe probably on the off chance that like you know the off chance that you might use a, a, a an attack with like five PP or something like that. And well, we're getting slapped around right here. That's not good. Chico, come on! Here comes the Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf comes in and finishes off Clefairy. Oh, seriously? Wow, okay, maybe I should have got a Clefairy. I don't know. Okay, so that's evasion has gone up, and here comes a Razor Leaf. This will, will not miss, and just like that, Clefairy has been defeated. And more experience points for all of us, yes. Alrighty, Tiffany. I'm sorry that I had to defeat you that way, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so let's move on right here. We're going to be battling quite a few trainers right here, guys. Um, on top of that... 
grabbing some items. Now, let's go right ahead and use some Togepi right here. I think it was this... No, 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 we, we get HMs later on, and, well, here we have this guy. Hey! Do you have a rare Pokemon? I think. I don't know. Let's find out. And, well, here we go. Take it on Brent. And Brent. Coming out with a Ligatung. And Togepi. Not looking so good right here. Well, it's looking so good. Yeah, we still got some moves. And here comes a Swift Attack. That? Well, that does something, but here comes Stomp. Holy crud baskets. Okay. Let's go right ahead and uh, gamble a little. Let's go with Metronome. And Metal Claw. Okay. All right. And that really didn't take a lot. Plus, we didn't get the, the boost, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that again. Come on, give us like a Hyper Beam or something, and... No! Well, we got Aurora Beam. Aurora Beam is good. And... That nearly defeats like a tongue. okay. And here's some more Stomp Attack. Okay, let's go with a, a Swift Attack right here. And... Well... There you go. And we get some more experience points. And there we go. Brent has been defeated. Yes, your poor Pokemon have been defeated. Okay, so let's go right ahead and find out what this item was. Like I said, guys, either or, you're going to get some Team Rocket members trying to swipe some money. I would not go here until you have uh, solved the little problem that's been going on right here. So, let's go right ahead and continue on with our adventure right here with some more Pokemon trainers. Wow, would you get this? Some silver guy made fun of my Pokemon. <laughs> Darn it, my Pokemon are great. Wow, okay, so... <laughs> silver, no mercy. Let's see what Pokemon you got, and he's got a Nido King. Okay, why would you make fun of one of my favorite Pokemons? Okay, the next time... Okay. The next time I see Silver, I'm gonna get one for you, alright? And, well, look, look, that horn attack's gonna hit us pretty hard, so here comes Shadow Ball! That doesn't do anything. Come on, Metronome, do something, and... Oh, crap, Baskets. Okay, double kick. And let's go with the Metronome. And... Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, let's go with Lucky. Yes, maximum effort. Here we go. And, well, Needle King's gonna go with a double kick right here. There's another one. And there we go with the Surf Attack. Oh, crap, Baskets. Another Horn Attack right here. Alrighty. Surf Attack. Surf and Turf away. And there you go. Just like that, Needle King has been defeated. I mean, I don't know why you would be making fun of a Needle King. And, well, Togepi grows to level 27. And everybody else is happy. And there we go. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, your Needle King is pretty cool. It's just, you know... Silver's a... You know, he's you know he's an ass. And, well, we got quite a few more Pokemon coming... Or Pokemon trainers. So let's go ahead and defeat the trainer up north. And then, you know, move move towards the other way. There's quite a few things that I kind of want to show you right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I love Pokemon! That's why I started, and why I'll keep cool collecting Pokemon. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so... Here we have Pokemaniac Ben, and he is coming out with his Slowbro. Alrighty, Slowbro. I may have made the mistake of using... Oh, wait, you know what? No, no, no. I got, I got the right Pokemon. Alright, Shadow Ball. Ghost type attacks work here. And that nearly defeats Slowbro. And that Growl attack won't do anything. So, funny thing, okay? Funny thing. I was playing a, a, some other Pokemon hack games, and it, it reminds me, it reminded me of, you know, a new typing that some of these hack, uh, these hack creators created, and that was a sound type, and what do you want, Arnie? Okay, are you up to always, uh, okay, dude, I already beat you, I don't want to take on you, leave me alone! Hmm. Well, like I was saying, a Pokemon typing that they added in, uh, in, in some of these hack games that I've been playing is the sound type, and, you know, I, I, I have been, like, I, I have been, uh, how should I say, like, I, I've been for 
for sound types for quite some time because well we have like a, when you think about it you look at all these Pokemon that have been created prior to these new generations some of these Pokemon can be sound types it's just I don't think they would call it sound types I don't know I think they would call it something else something nifty or something I don't even know but sound type Pokemon would be another Pokemon that would probably coming out now my question is Pokemon or Nintendo has always come out with like at least two new typings and all that stuff. I think the last one was like fairy type, right? Only fairy type. If that were the case, and if they were to come out with like two more, one or two, aside from sound type Pokemon, what what else, like what other typings do you guys think, you know, Nintendo might come out with? Mm, I've also seen celestial type, which I don't necessarily get because it's like, wait, celestial type would probably fall around the like it probably fall around uh, what was it called um it would probably fall around psychic ghost or fairy but if they're talking about like alien Pokemon or something like that that's I, I would get that now we're looking at this right here and oh wow this guy's got Gyaradoses huh I wonder if we have to I wonder if we can battle them multiple times we'll find out we'll get his phone number probably but as you guys can see, uh, Fluffle's, uh, yeah, becoming the strongest Pokemon right here, and we're gonna be switching them out. Let's go to Chico right here. Now, another reason why I'm going up to the Lake of Rage, it's not just for the Red Gyarados, but it's also for, you know, what you get after, after capturing or defeating the Red Gyarados. It's like a special item that I might need. And we're going to need it eventually because, well, we're going to be battling some other Pokemon here. And, well, there we go. Marvin has been defeated. Okay, so... Let's see. First and foremost. I think we've uh, reached our cap right here, but let's go right ahead. Route 43, Lake of Rage to Mahogany Town. Here we are, guys. Lake of Rage. And uh, we're going to pause it right here. I think this is enough time and all that stuff. I know I did say that I wanted to see everything, but in the next episode, it's going to be a little bit more informational. We're going to go gonna go around the Lake of Rage and then, you know, everything culminating to capturing the Red Gyarados right here. So thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to make a donation to this channel, links in the description below, the little heart button right there. If you guys want to catch some, some uh, membership-only videos, which will be coming out in November, or if we are in November or December, I don't even know. If you guys want to catch some membership uh, videos, sign up right here. It's in my page. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode as we explore the Lake of Rage. See you guys.